Shalom. In the next series of videos, I'm going to be putting out videos about the Sabbath. Um, there's a lot of people asking questions about the Sabbath. And a lot of people coming out of Christianity and they don't know how to keep the Sabbath. And this video will be geared towards those that that's coming out of Christianity and they don't know how to keep the Sabbath. They don't know anything about the Sabbath. The churches do not teach the Sabbath and that's the reason they don't know how to keep the Sabbath. Also in these series of videos, those that know the Sabbath and keep the Sabbath, I'm going to be revealing information that you may not know and you could be defiling the Sabbath and not knowing that you're defiling the Sabbath. It took me a while to figure out how I was going to do this with these 15 minute videos and so I'm, I'm just going to, I broke it down and I'm labeling it with different titles. But if you watch these videos, you will know what the Sabbath is, which in Hebrew is Shabbat. You will know what the Shabbat is and you will understand how to accurately keep the Shabbat because many people are breaking the Shabbat and again, unknowingly. This one is Yahuwah has given us the Sabbath. And this is the first thing one must understand that this Sabbath did not come from man. It came from Yahuwah. It came from the Almighty. And He commanded us to keep it. He commanded the children of Yasharal to keep this Sabbath, that it would be a sign between Him and the children of Yasharal. The first scripture I want to give is Ecclesiastic. This is in the Apographer. 33rd chapter and the ninth verse and it says some of them he has made high days and kadash them and some he have made ordinary days so most of the days that we have they are what you call ordinary days and some days are kadash days meaning they are set apart that's what that word kadash means in hebrew it's set apart the first scripture I'm going to is, uh, let's see, in the Bible, this is Exodus 16, and I'm going to read 22 through 30. This is actually the account when they came out of Egypt. And this is, most people don't understand this, but this is the first command the children of Yashara was given when coming out of Egypt. And it was the Sabbath, it was to keep the Shabbat. And it reads, So it was on the sixth day that they gathered twice as much bread, two omers for each one. And all the rulers of the congregation came and told Moshe. Then he said to them, This is what Yahuwah has said. Tomorrow is the Sabbath of rest, a Kadash Shabbat. To Yahuwah, bake what you would bake today, Boil but you will boil, and lay up for yourselves all that remains to be kept until morning. So here they're told to make what they're going to eat for the Shabbat on the sixth day. So they laid it up till morning as Moshe commanded, and it did not stink, nor were there any worms in it. Then Moshe said, Eat that today, for today is a Shabbat to Yahuwah. Today you will not find it in the field. So they were eating manna that was coming down from heaven. And he rained manna down uh, six days. And on the six days they got, they got double. Double came down the sixth day, enough for the seventh day. And it says six days you shall gather it. But on the seventh day, the Shabbat, there will be none. So he's telling them right here, you, you gather this uh manna for six days but on, on the seventh there will be none and now it happened that some of the people went out on the seventh day to gather but they found none so right here already they're breaking the shabbat this is how they broke the shabbat they're going out looking to gather in the manna and the first thing yahuwah says look at this yahuwah said to moshe how long do you refuse to keep my commandments and my laws or my Torah? So he's telling them right off the jump, 
they the, the first command here they are breaking it he says cease for Yahuwah has given you Shabbat therefore he give you the sixth day bread for two days let every man remain in his place let no one go out of his place on the seventh day so what he's saying since you didn't since you went out to gather manna now he's saying just stay in your tents don't come out and this is where we at today a lot of people they go out and I'm going to get into that in a, in a later video they go out and they break the Shabbat and verse 30 so the people rested on the seventh day again this was something new to them they knew nothing of a, a Sabbath they weren't keeping the Sabbath when they was in Egypt. They was, they was in, they was in that captivity. So were we in America, in the land of captivity, not keeping Shabbat, but we were going to church on Sundays. And this is Leviticus 23 and 3. I'm just going to focus on the third verse here. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is Shabbat of rest. A Kadash convocation, you shall do no work therein. It is the Shabbat of Yahuwah in all your dwellings. So even in our captivity, wherever we at, this is a this is a command that all our dwellings we should keep the Shabbat. There's some feast days that you know cannot be kept outside of the land, but this is the Shabbat. Is to be kept in all our dwellings, and I know it's a lot of, it's some controversy over that, but the scripture is clear. But that's another topic. And this is Deuteronomy 5. I'm gonna read 12 and 15. And it says, "Keep the Sabbath day to kadash it, to set it apart, as Yahuwah, your Elohim, have commanded thee." So we are being commanded here to keep it. And to set it apart. And it's not, again, it's not an ordinary day. This is one of those high days that, that I that I was read of, I just read to you in Ecclesiastes 33 and 9. And verse of uh, what I said, 15, verse 15. And remember that you was a servant in the land of Egypt, that Yahuwah Yahlahim brought you out. With a mighty hand, outstretched arm, therefore Yahuwah Yahuwah commanded you to keep the Shabbat day. So this is where we at. This is, you know, no man. This is no commandment from no man. This commandment is coming from the Almighty Himself, and it's His Shabbat. He has given it unto us, and this is the whole point of this first video. Is to understand that it is this is his Shabbat and he given it he's given it unto us to keep. And the last one is Nehemiah nine and verse fourteen, and it says, "You made known to them your Kadash Sabbath." So right here, we are reading. It was Yahuwah that made known to his people the Kadash. Shabbat and commanded them precepts, statutes, and laws, which is his Torah, by the hand of Moshe, your servant. So the key point here in this first video, he the one that gave us the Shabbat and commanded the children of Yasharal to keep it. And if you um if you stay close to these videos, you will have a full understanding of the Shabbats. There are many videos out on the Shabbats, but there are some vital details that is missing. And this is the reason I'm making these videos. There are vital, vital details. And people, I don't know why they don't go into these other writings, but there, there's information that's needed and with that information you will see you will see and understand the accurate way to keep the Shabbat Shalom